Hey fellow creatives, welcome or welcome back to my channel where I provide art tutorials, introduce you to new techniques, and provide a little bit of a glimpse into my journey of becoming a professional artist. If you're new here, be sure to poke that subscribe button so you never miss a new video. So as a person who films a lot of art tutorials and crafty type content, I've been looking for some filming equipment that allows me to capture what I do in detail. Pencil strokes, really fine brush strokes, and also have enough lighting to where those colors really pop. What I ended up buying was the canvas lamp from shopcanvas.co. I've had it a few weeks now and I've been able to use it for both short form and long form content. So I have a pretty good grasp on what I like about it and what I don't like. In this video, I'll be rating this lamp on six different categories. Versatility, appearance, mobility, stability, lighting quality, and price. Then at the end, I'll tell you how often I actually use my canvas lamp and if it was a good investment for me. Then hopefully you can take that information and figure out if this lamp would be a good investment for you and the type of content you create. Timestamps are in the description, so let's get into it. First, let's talk about versatility. The best feature of the canvas lamp is definitely how versatile it is. The phone clamp works with any smartphone, so it doesn't matter whether you have an iPhone or an Android, you're covered. However, don't expect to use it with larger devices such as DSLR cameras or tablets. The canvas lamp was designed specifically for creators who use their smartphone for filming, so the size and weight limit of the lamp head are perfect only for your smartphone. This lamp also has a six axis positioning system, so I can get the perfect camera angle while I'm filming, whether I'm using it for overhead videos while I do a demonstration, filming a time lapse of my latest sketch, or speaking directly to the camera while filming a YouTube video. Overall, I'm super impressed with the versatility of this lamp, so I give it a five out of five stars in this category. Next, let's look at mobility. Something I didn't realize I would use as much as I do is the desk clamp that comes in the box. It's super easy to switch from using the weighted base to the clamp, and the clamp can fit desks up to two inches in depth. I usually attach it to my easel while I film myself painting, and I love that it tightens very easily and securely so I won't accidentally knock it over into my supplies. All you need to be able to move this lamp from one place to another is your desk clamp and a nearby outlet, and you're in business. That's why I'm giving this lamp a five out of five for mobility. Now let's talk about appearance. So right out of the box, I could tell the canvas lamp is well made and fits nicely in any room. Because it has so many pivot points, this lamp is very easy to maneuver and it's actually pretty fun to test out all the camera angles you can achieve with it. It obviously has a sleek, very modern appearance and doesn't take up much space on my desk. And they also offer a couple of choices for personalization. You can choose black or white metal for the body of the lamp, as well as customize the style of your base. Both metal and wooden bases are available, and here I have the classic wooden base. Overall, I have only positives to say about appearance, so I'll give the canvas lamp a five out of five in this category as well. Next, let's discuss the stability of the canvas lamp, and this is really important. In this category, I found both pros and cons. First of all, I really like how heavy the base is. It's a wooden base with a metal plate, and it has quite a bit of weight to it. I did, however, find a couple of angles where the lamp started tipping, but this was only when the lamp was extended so far out that there was no weight to counterbalance the weight of the phone. And since I still wanted to film in this angle, I ended up putting a couple of plant pots on top of the base to give it some extra weight, so it really wasn't a big deal. However, something I think could definitely be improved is the connection between the lamp base and the upper part of the lamp. The upper metal part slides into the base nicely, but there's not an effective way to tighten it. To be honest, this knob doesn't really do a whole lot to increase the stability, so the metal part of the lamp is a little wobbly. It hasn't been severe enough to be a problem for me at this point. All of my videos appear to be stable, so just take that into account. Similar issues arise when attaching the metal upper to the clamp base, but the mechanism for tightening is a lot better here, so it's easier to handle and not much of a problem at all. Really what I'm looking for though is to be able to turn the lamp completely upside down and for everything to remain intact because you never really know what angle you'll wanna end up filming in. 
Overall, in the stability category, I'm giving the canvas lamp four out of five stars. Next, let's discuss lighting quality. I know lighting quality is important for so many creators. Ideally, we'd like to be filming during the day in front of a bright but overcast window, but that's just not always possible. I still work full time during the day, so most of my artwork and filming gets done at night. I really like that the canvas lamp has three different lighting colors with 10 different brightness settings, so I can adjust the lighting amount and color I need to really showcase my artwork. The light ring itself is not as large as what you'll find on a regular ring light, but it definitely does the job and gets really bright if you want it to. I'm easily giving the canvas lamp a five out of five when it comes to lighting quality, especially considering the small size of this ring light. If you can't film during the best times of day for perfect lighting, this is definitely a helpful alternative. Finally, let's talk about price. I will say I was a little hesitant to buy when I was first being bombarded with ads for this lamp because it is on the pricey side. The canvas lamp is just under $200, I think I got mine for 182, so it was a bit of an investment. If you're looking for really cheap filming equipment, this lamp is probably not for you, but if you think this would completely change the way you film your craft and it's something you would use all the time, I'd say I go for it. Also, I think the price is on point with the quality of the equipment, but what really matters is how much you would actually use it, which leads me to the big question. So how often do I actually use this filming tool? Answer every freaking day, y'all. I mean, that might be a tiny bit of an exaggeration, but it's probably like at least four days a week I film with the canvas lamp. I know a lot of times when we see something online, we're like, oh my God, I need this right now. This will drastically like make my life better. But when we actually get it, it ends up sitting in a closet. We don't actually use it that much. This has not been the case for me with this lamp. I use it so much to film both short form and long form content on Instagram and YouTube. So almost every time I sit down to sketch or paint, I am using my canvas lamp because it is so flexible and versatile and super compact. Hopefully by this point, you've been able to decide whether the canvas lamp is for you. If so, I've put the link to check it out down in the description. If you're a crafty creator and you've already bought this lamp, link a video of you doing your craft down in the comments for a chance for a shout out in a future video. If this video was helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you in my next one.